All right. It's time to rant. I'm pissed. I am super, super pissed off. Because Sony messed up. They messed up. I'm not even talking about their little showcase today. They messed up. But before I talk about that, I want to remind you, we got a couple giveaways going on. One for three copies of Super Mario 3, 3D All-Stars. Another for a Switch Lite and then two Switch games of choice. Uh, if you want to enter those, go down to the description. There's a whole bunch of different ways to enter. Um, let's just get into this rant because I'm just, I'm mad. Sony made a promise back in July during Summer's Game Fest. Here's that promise. So I, I think it's safe to say, you know, for all of your viewers, we'll let you know when pre-order will happen. We will let you know. It, it's not going to happen with a minute's notice. We're, we're going to, at some point, let you know when you can pre-order PlayStation 5. So they said they would give us plenty of, of head, headway, leeway to order a PlayStation 5. Basically, a heads up, being like, hey, this is when you can do it. Today, they said, oh, you can do it tomorrow. They gave us less than 24 hours warning about this. This is ridiculous. Microsoft gave us over a week. Heck, you can't even pre-order an Xbox Series X yet. X yet. You can't until Tuesday of next week. The reason that you do this is obviously to try to prevent scalpers. Scalpers are, are much quicker to the gun. People are at work when this thing's going on. There, no one can plan to pre-order it. And here's the thing. Almost every single online retailer in the United States has already put up PlayStation 5 for pre-order. Almost all of them are sold out. Now, I'm on GameStop's page right now, and it says I can pre-order. But when you click on it and you go through the process, the, the cart never actually goes through, and you can't actually get it. And you know, PlayStation 5 cannot even be added to the cart right now. They're, they're, they're completely sold out. All of the online retailers, I think besides Amazon, I think Amazon's the one that hasn't put it up yet. But all the other online retailers, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, they all have PlayStation 5s up for pre-order. All of them sold out. They're not even supposed to be available to pre-order yet. Sony fucked up. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to drop an F-bomb, but that's what happened. Sony effed up. This is ridiculous. Sony promised this wouldn't happen. They promised us that they would give us you know, a, a little bit of, of leeway so we could plan and know when it was time to hit those F5s, hit those refreshes, know when to go to the, the retail outlets. I have it on good authority that my local GameStop is sold out. I called, they're sold out. They're not even, I, I literally got on the phone. What do you mean you're sold out? I was asking what time you guys open tomorrow because you're not even supposed to be taking pre-orders till tomorrow. The retailers don't care. They're ignoring it. They know the demand. They want the sales. They want them now. And the worst yet, on eBay, they're going for $800 to $1,000. It's insane. It's a literally insane world that we live in right now. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to react. How do you react to something like this? How do you react to getting effed over by Sony? Because here's the thing. You can try to blame the retailers all you want. Oh, they can't control the retailers. How's Microsoft doing it? We've known the price for the Series X, Series S. We've known it for a few days now. They told us September 22nd is when you can pre-order. You don't see anywhere that you can pre-order that system. So how can Microsoft lock it down but Sony can't? The answer? Because Sony gave basically less than 12 hours notice. Less than 12 hours notice because pre-orders would go up online at midnight, clearly. They gave less than 12 hours notice about being able to pre-order a PlayStation 5. And it's bullshit. It's utter bullshit. This is the kind of crap that, that, that is, is going to make it so I only have an Xbox Series X at launch. Because I could plan for it. I can't plan for this. Now, I have other methods. I have friends. I, I, I have ways to get my hand on, on a PlayStation 5 console without having to pay extra. But it, it's still, it's <laughs> this is a pain in the butt. I can't imagine what it's like to be you guys right now who really want to get a PlayStation 5. I see it. it it's, it's destroying the poll. People want that that four ninety nine PlayStation Five, but you can't get it. You can't get it. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I feel bad. I feel horrible that you guys can't get it. But what am I gonna do about it? All I can say is, for shame, Sony. It's bad enough you promised this one happened, and then you did the exact same th same thing that everyone was afraid you were going to do. And we already know there's going to be limited stock, and it's going to take a long time to get it restocked. I mean, if you don't get one 
at launch, you're not going to be able to get a PlayStation 5 for a while. Now, I always say if there's not any games on there you guys want to play right away, you can wait anyways. But, dude, this sucks. This shouldn't happen. I'm just being honest. So stuff like this shouldn't happen. Not in 2020. Microsoft knew. Microsoft gave a leeway. Why can't Sony do it? I understand that Sony had a killer presentation today. Final Fantasy 16, the new uh, Hogwarts game. Uh, you know, just you know, Demon Souls remastered, you know, remake, whatever. Like, I understand that Sony killed it today. For a lot of people, they are so sold on PlayStation 5, it's not even funny. And the games are what matter. More than anything else, games matter. They matter more than Sony also just slipping this out after the fact. It's funny because everyone's like, oh, man, you can get a three ninety nine PlayStation 4 all digital version. Sure, but you're still paying $70 for games. Another thing Sony's slipping out there and hardly getting criticized for. All next-gen games from Sony are listed at $69.99. So Sony not only screwed up this whole pre-order process and just screwed over legit consumers, they also they also went ahead and are charging $10 more for next-gen games. Remember when Activision and EA were getting blasted for attempting to do the same thing? They were getting executed for doing it how dare you raise the price by ten dollars so they backed off and they lowered the price but you see now why they were raising the price because sony's doing it sony is charging 69.99 not even microsoft's doing that but this is sony and they're gonna get away with it because people like them well a lot of people i mean i'm primarily a nintendo channel so i'm sure there's some detractors here but Man, PlayStation 5 is going to be my first day one owned Sony system. And I'm just extremely disappointed in how they're handling all this. Happy with the games, disappointed that they're raising prices, you know, without warning, but it's convenient. They left out that price hike during the presentation. They kind of slipped it out there after. <laughs> they didn't even tell us when you could pre-order till after. It, it It's just bullshit. It's bullshit. That's all I could say. It's utter bullshit. All right, I think I, I think I'm done. I'm done. I I don't know. My head hurts. I can't believe. Well, I guess I can believe Sony. Sony's a do, doesn't care how they get their money. They don't care if they're being friendly to consumers. They they haven't. I mean, they were they fought so hard against things this this current generation like cross platform play. It was such a battle with fans and them to allow cross platform play which should just be a standard feature. Switch has cross-platform play, for crying out loud. The Nintendo Switch has it. Microsoft has had it this whole time. But Sony won't let it happen. Like, how much more of this crap are we going to have to put up with? Sony, you have what looks like a great, a great platform and great games. And that's why everyone's going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But let's not forget these anti-consumer crap that they, they just pulled today with the PlayStation 5. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.